Hello, girly pops. Welcome back to the second moving vlog. Woo! I'm so excited for this one. We're going to be tackling my closet. It's a very interesting shape, so we're going to have to be using lots of different storage techniques. So maybe this could also be helpful for your closet shape. And I'm so excited to film this because it's a beautiful day. And when the lighting is nice and bright, I feel so inspired to vlog. And every time I vlog, you guys motivate me to be productive. So I'm just... I'm fired up right now. I'm absolutely fired up right now, guys. Okay, let me show you what we're working with right now. I haven't even looked in there or like prepared it. So whatever it looks like is what it looks like. I'll show you the issues that we're facing in there. You'll get a feel of uh, what we're working with. Here's the before. So this is my bathroom and then behind me is the closet. Here's this. I just got sent these three pairs of Skechers yesterday. They're so cute, by the way. But already I don't have anywhere to put these. Then I have my laundry basket, which is just kind of like in there. We kind of have some order to this. So I have like my flannels, button ups, and then hoodies. And then I have tank tops and then some shirts. This is what really is bothering me. I have these two baskets, but it's like sports bras, underwear, and socks. There's like hats and stuff in there that I really want to hang up. We have this empty shelf, leggings and workout clothes, so messy. Some random sweatpants or sweatshirts and sleep shorts. My shirts go here. I have like three pairs of shoes here. I have my whites laundry. I have some hoodies and some jackets and random pants right here. As you can see, the shape of this place is like very narrow. With this just like big shelf thing, which is for hangers, I just have sweatpants, pants, and crewnecks, and then hats. And then we have this little door here. So as you can kind of see, this is the layout. It's like walk-in, but it's like a narrow, long walk-in. It's definitely the most unique shape of closet that I've ever worked with before. So I have some supplies to help us out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is currently where like all of my shoes and sneakers are. It's not all of my shoes, but there's just no room whatsoever. So like actually a lot of them are still at the old place that we were living at, which is where Ryan's dad lives at. But since I have been acquiring new sneakers lately because of my little obsession, I really need to figure that out. So I watched Ava Jules moving vlog because those are iconic of course we've all been watching those I would hope because they're so good and she had these shoe garages so I clicked on her little affiliate link and I bought them and we're about to build them I'm so excited I think the idea of a shoe garage is so cute because it's like your shoes park in their little like parking spot every night I just love it okay so this is what I got in the package so now it's time that I figure out how to build these and we have Spock's moral support here as well can you see him he's laying on his football Oh, I'm still recording. Hey, how to make the shoe bin. Fold the PP sheet. <laughs> PP sheet, that's too good. Um, oh, these are waxing strips. That's for a TikTok. Okay, so these are the PP sheets. Oh, nice. Takes shape pretty easily. Oh, it's supposed to like click in. Oi, oi. Yes, satisfying as frick. Okay, there's the click. Cute. Okay. <laughs> I see. Oh, I was so silly before. Oh my gosh. This is so simple. <gasps> click, click. Okay, easy. Here's our first shoe garage, and then I just make more, and then we can stack them. Here's my first pair of sneakers. Let's open up our garage and put them in. I don't really have any high tops because they're not super flattering on my short body. Um, so this is perfect for all of my shoes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> I'm obsessed. I'm gonna time lapse me making the other ones. This is so fun, it's so satisfying. That's so easy. Look at this. And you could get as many as you want and stack them. This is so nice. It's next up, we have these little shelves that you can put in the closet to give you more mm, space. Sometimes when you divide more, it actually gives you more space in a funny way. I'm building this. I'm kind of confused. I'm going to make Ryan help me. I'm a little too short to get up there, but this is really going to help us organize. We have this guy. These are from West Elm. And then we have one like this. Ooh. I think I'm actually gonna transfer these to the other side and then put the shelves here because then it'll be floating and I can see what's in these baskets better because right now all these clothes block what's in the baskets. It's very cumbersome. So let's switch it around, shall we? Okay, slay. Let's put it up. Too short. I'll come back with help. Now we have this. Cute! So, I'm thinking down here would be a good place for some of the shoe garages. My New Year's shoes. So cute. My hiking boots. Okay, so this is blocking where shoe garages could go. So I'm gonna switch these with the tank tops up there and then there's gonna be room. This is working out pretty well. 
this is getting complicated. These are definitely gonna have to go somewhere else. Please tell me we can fit one more. Okay, well we don't need this thing here. Okay, I removed the bar from the bottom of this and now it's gonna fit them perfectly. Watch this. They're a little bit hidden and these fit perfectly, which means I can buy no more shoes. <sighs> wow. Okay, this little section is so satisfying. Look at this little spot. The little tank tops are the exact same height. We have the four squares and then we have those perfectly fitting shoe garages. This is so satisfying. Cramming everything over there for now because we need to reorganize this now. day two of the closet. Unfortunately, the sun is setting because I only get energy at nighttime. As you can see here, I've just laid out some hats, put a hat up there on that bar, and here I put up a free people bag to hang my bras, which aren't really bras, they're just like comfy cloth material, you know what I mean? So now what I need to tackle is moving all of these, switching them out with my t-shirts because this is really claustrophobic and it's also about to be summer so I don't need all these long sleeves. And then we're gonna have to like reorganize the entire closet over there because it's driving me insane. Like reorganizing this, it looks good right here, but it feels so claustrophobic in there. I've actually made it a little bit worse. <laughs> so now we need to fix all of that. I'm sipping away. Okay, this is perfect because then there's room under the shirts. So this is gonna be my sock bin. And then I can hang some of the hats on this little hanger. This is gonna be so cute. So don't let me go now. Cute, oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, let's come into the closet. As you can maybe see, this shelf I put crewnecks on and I have some room here for them. So I'm going to take some crewnecks off of hangers and put them on the shelf. And then I'm going to organize hoodies down here and just like kind of rearrange things to match their genre of clothing. And then we'll see what needs to change. I feel like ultimately I need to get like some sort of dresser. I just don't know where in the house I would put it. So that's the issue. Because I feel like if I had drawers for like workout clothes and stuff, I could just store way more things. Because at this point, it seems like I can't buy a single piece of clothing or else. I will not have room for anything so maybe I'll just have to have like a winter storage and just have this as like a seasonal closet to make sure everything fits but that's a lot of work every year I'm all up in that love hey so where do we go now Okay, it is now morning time, so I'm gonna give you the final tour. There are still some things I would like to do, but they're just gonna take so much effort. Like I should probably just take my winter coats and put them in storage somewhere, like in the attic. Attic? Attic. But I don't wanna do that. So here is the finished closet tour. Here's the restroom, she's still messy. But then this is the first thing that you see. I love this section so much, it's so satisfying. I have my suitcase up there randomly. I've got flowy pants, workout shirts, shorts, and leggings here. And then I have some tank tops and shirts. In this basket, I have my socks, and then I'm hanging hats on this pole, which is like probably my favorite part. And I have a little pair of shoes right here. Those are from American Eagle, but they look like the Birkenstock ones. They're more like house slippers, but I still really love them. And then I have a hat just hanging on this thing, a scarf hanging here, some more hats that I can't hang. And then down here, we have my tank tops, and then sweatpants and shirts. And down here, we have the sneakers garage which is my favorite thing ever and then as you saw I hung this free people thing to hang some of my bras which is just really nice and like out of the way to this middle shelving part up here I have sweaters that I probably won't be wearing for the summertime and then my two towels that I have and then this is my crew neck section love a good crew neck I feel like that is gonna expand the most here I have my pants so this is why I'm a little worried because basically everything fits perfectly and if I get anything else it won't fit anymore so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that and then I have sports bras on this side and underwear on this side cowboy boots and then other shoes down here. This is the really tight corner, so I have my laundry back there. This section is button downs, then sweaters, then some more pants, and then winter coats back here. And then this is the hoodies and some crewnecks, and it's very hard to get a shot of that because there's no width right here, so I can't get back there to show you. But yeah, I just have all my hoodies here. Speaking of which, it's a good time to plug my Girly Pop merch. It's embroidered. You can get it in blue or pink, hayleyfan.com. Go shop that. But yeah, that's the closet now. I'm very satisfied with it. I hope this gave you some inspiration for like some random ways to hang things because I know it's just very difficult in certain closets and like different shapes because this one is not necessarily small. It's just a funny shape. But yeah, I'm working on another moving vlog because furniture is coming in over time very 
very slowly over like months. So I'm just gonna try to update you with the furniture that we get as it goes by. So subscribe so you can see that next week and my book video is coming out soon. And I am active on TikTok and Instagram every single day. Go watch my main channel video and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.